Blendo Games presents. After you know the shift tab thing disappears. Flotilla, orbital battleship maneuvers. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't remember when exactly I picked this one up, and I have played through the tutorial, so I have some like I have a vague idea of how it's played. Thing is, I think I did in fact see this game on the Xbox Live Indie section quite some time ago. But most likely passed on it like I do on most indie games, because I frankly I'm not paying for Xbox Live just to play a couple of games in the future. And I honestly don't like that system at all. I mean, it's kind of weird for me to say that when I'm playing stuff on Steam where you technically have to be online to play a lot of this stuff, but at least there are offline options in some cases with that stuff. With Xbox Indie games, there are no offline and options. Anyway, this is starting to drag a bit, but yeah, Flotilla. I was immediately reminded of Homeworld when I played the actual game. I don't know if that's the whole game, but from what I've seen so far, this is pretty simplistic, but quite fun. And I am uh, an absolute nut when it comes to any kind of naval combat or naval warfare style games, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense when I'm mostly a Twitch gamer, or it appears that way, but Games like Homeworld and stuff, man, they ate away at my time when I was a kid. Not a teen, I shouldn't say kid. I wasn't five when I was playing that shit. <laughs> it could sound like I played it on the fucking Atari. <laughs> Alright, so let's do this. Adventure 1, Marco, and yeah, see like here you can see there's a 360 option for the controller. Alright. I already did the tutorial, so I'm not going to do it again, and it basically just told me after that to pick a planet. What I find most interesting though is that actually this map setup is completely different from what I saw last time. That's interesting. Uh, so let's see. Strago, Drew, Gaka, Yifo. Let's go to Yifo. Whoa. A diplomat is killed. Your weapons officer is distraught. <laughs> Captain, you've known me for ten years. This isn't my fault. Report Dean to the authorities. Help Dean become a fugitive. <laughs> I already like this game. I know. I had no idea this was coming. I swear I had no clue. Th this is reminding me of something else immediately right now. Let me tell you. Uh, I'll help him become a fugitive. You dispose of the diplomat's body. Captain, you don't know how much this means to me. Okay. Marcos Log Adventure 1. Armed with nothing but a bone to pick, with seven months left to live, I embarked on my last adventure. I chose to help my weapons officer cover up the dep death of diplomat. Death of a diplomat! Holy shit, try saying that ten times fast. And, and then what, I just jumped to a new planet? Uh, I'm assuming red must mean there's a battle going on, so let's avoid those for now. Let's go to Yupu! Deep in a space derelict, you discover colonists cocooned in the walls. They scream, The Brugia! The Brugia did this! Please, please, kill us. Destroy the derelict, wait for a cure. You know what? I believe in um, acting responsibly, so I'm gonna blow them the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> you played the time to Volca charges these motion devices. I'm not, I'm not gonna read this shit out endlessly, because that's gonna get real old real fast. Huh. Look at that, it logs everything you do. That's... this is actually getting really cool. Alright, let's see what the hell the red planets lead to. Actually, hold on, I wanna see what the white ones are as well, because these ones are blue and these are white, so... Danny Gito, names are ridiculous. Actually, let's go all the fucking way out to El Rondondro. That's Miss Doris! <laughs> Encounter Barking Man Crocodile. What the? Where am I? Who are you? I can't help but read this! It's really funny! He told me I was going to be okay. This is not okay. The crocodile opens fire. What? 
Well then fuck you, Mr. Crocodile. Okay, it's really easy. You basically just command your ships to blow everything up. Uh, as soon as I figure out where the fucking enemy is. Where is he? Oh, they gotta be the yellow. Okay, so they're not just red then. Okay, W, A, S, and D move the camera. Um, not so up and down kind of shows you your relativity. It's really easy, actually. I was fucking around for like 20 minutes in the tutorial just trying to figure out how to like set things up so I could see my height because the bottom of your ships are where they're they're vulnerable. But same thing for these ships, I think, unless it varies from point to point. But uh, yeah, you don't want to be up here like I am right now. So let's change that. So we do an attack move. And this is why it immediately reminds me of Homeworld for some reason. So I'm going to move uh, in... Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll move over here. What the hell? Let me space bar. Okay, I just want to see something real fast. Yeah, okay. So now you set your 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 like your, um, your vertical movement. I thought this was really cool, so I'm going to go really friggin' low. Hopefully these guys don't move fast. And you pick your orientation of what you want to shoot at. I personally think it'd be better to orientate for this one here. What did that say? Priority target is that dude. That wasn't in the tutorial, actually. I'm a little annoyed. Seven Jogger Whale. Who the fuck named these ships? Now, it's really funny. Classical music plays as uh, warfare engages in outer space. I'm only staying down because they said the bottoms were the most vulnerable part of these ships I have, so I don't want to get hit from below, because that'll fuck me up. If I move him here, if I get him under there, I'm going to definitely get a hit. I can, I can bet my bottom dollar on that. If not, then I guess I'm sure to Don't fire your laser beams at me. Don't tase me, bro. No! Just a quick author's nose. Uh, no, all joking aside. Author's notes. For the first adventure Marco goes on in outer space in quote-unquote flotilla, the name of the game is constantly mispronounced. It is flotilla. I apologize to the developers of the game, and I apologize to anyone who's a fan for making that mistake. It is cleared up in the second adventure, and it is denoted pretty well in the second adventure as well. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for more.